The world is embracing innovative bio-based production methods, creating new opportunities for Ontario's Carbohydrate Valley, Canada's leading biofood ingredients cluster. Strategically located in Port Colborne, Ontario, Carbohydrate Valley is the only place in Canada with the inputs needed for success in the bioeconomy. Carbohydrate Valley, all the right ingredients. In Port Colborne, we have Ontario's Carbohydrate Valley. The key to the carbohydrate economy is the knowledge that value-added products can be manufactured from bio-based feedstocks. Carbohydrates, such as corn, can be converted into ingredients for food, beverage, pharmaceuticals, other consumer products, and industrial applications. Carbohydrate Valley is the only location in Canada with access to glucose and citric acid. Carbohydrate Valley is among the first sites dedicated to new chemistry from plant-based feedstock. It builds on Ontario's strong history of agriculture and manufacturing, new investments in research and development, and Port Colborne's unbeatable transportation connections. In terms of bio-based businesses, Port Colborne is, is perfectly suited. We've been able to create a manufacturing cluster. Uh, that cluster uh, essentially uh, manufactures carbohydrate-based products. Our roster of established companies includes Youngbunslauer Canada, a world leader of citric acid production. The Port Colborne facility is one of the largest greenfield investments in the North American food industry. Ingredion is one of Canada's leading producers and suppliers of high quality food ingredients. Another respected partner with 100 years anchored in Port Colborne is the ADM flour mill. These high-profile companies open the door for new economic development, making Port Colborne's Carbohydrate Valley North America's prime location for bio-based processing operations. Those companies uh, do work in tandem together. They, they do feed from each other, literally, and, and really, in partnership, uh, are successful because of that. 30 years ago, they decided to build another plant. This area was strategically chosen for its prime location. Minutes away from the U.S. border, the city of Port Colborne is located between Lakes Erie and Ontario, making it ideal for today's evolving biotechnology industry. Port Colborne is not only close to the major highways that serve southwestern Ontario and the northeastern United States, but we also have access to the major waterways as well as the rail system. Carbohydrate Valley offers low-cost water transportation, accessibility to large volumes of clean water, and a growing mix of companies in the bio business. Port Colborne is the excellent location. There's uh, plenty of available land at reasonable costs in comparison to other municipalities. And of course, with the supply of corn-based or soy-based products, that's another advantage. In this business, uh, what we need is infrastructure. We're going to have to move a lot of biomass. Accessibility, affordability, success. Port Colborne offers the unique advantage of an efficient multimodal transportation system. We have a lot to offer. We have the infrastructure in place. We have the Welland Canal. We have road. We have rail, short line, main line. We're within a one day's drive of 44% of North America's annual income. The decision to locate the mill here in Port Colborne was made 100 years ago. Uh, this pier was built specifically for the flour mill. Uh, the reason they selected the site was to have access to the three key modes of transportation uh, to source raw materials as well as to ship out. Young Bunslauer looked all over North and South America to find an ideal location for the manufacturing of its citric acid. Port Corbin was selected firstly because of the glucose supply from Ingredion next door and secondly because of the cooling source provided by the Welland Canal. Located on the Welland Canal within the St. Lawrence Seaway system, Port Colborne has access to the world by ship, an affordable and environmentally friendly alternative. We, uh, we have a fleet of ships that transits the Welland Canal on a, on a daily basis. The availability of fresh water was key in, in locating this facility here in Port Colborne. In addition to shipping, many companies rely on rail. Port Colborne's rail network, both short line and main line, connects to companies all across North America. 
We have access to 95% of North America by rail from here. Trillium provides the local switching services for both CN and CP who are connected to the North American rail network. And we provide responsive and flexible service. With all the right ingredients, Port Colborne has a strategic border location and access to North American markets with more than 150 million customers within one day's drive. Claire's as a trucking firm uh, deals with many of the local businesses here. We're very close to the border. We've got excellent transportation. We've got a community, very importantly, a community that understands Carbohydrate Valley and understands their role and want it to happen here. So I think that's incredibly important. In addition to water, rail, and road, we need reliable and competitively priced electricity, skilled trades, and contractors to meet our needs. The area's highly skilled workforce is built on a strong tradition in manufacturing and a commitment to innovation and advanced technologies. Being part of Niagara, Port Colborne is able to draw on a workforce of over 220,000. We're blessed here in Niagara, uh, city of Port Colborne throughout the Niagara region to have a very robust uh, skilled labor force. And all long-term employees. This is not a transient workforce. And I think that that's a very critical point. So our labor force here, again, I will put it up against anywhere in North America. As part of the Niagara region, Port Colborne also partners with the other 11 municipalities. Having those available to us uh, right there at our fingertips, uh, working with the private sector arm in arm, uh, ensuring that their interests are met. And that's the key here. Brock University has recently completed work on a new biosciences complex, which is critical for the success of our Carbohydrate Valley cluster in Port Colborne. Research and development is, is, is very big here in Niagara. We do work uh, shoulder to shoulder with Brock University uh, and Niagara College, as well as uh, other institutions like McMaster University, Mohawk College, and some of the schools over, over the river in, in, the, in the Buffalo area. The city's economic and industrial land strategy is focused on new bio-business opportunities. Vacant service land is available adjacent to the Carbohydrate Valley Cluster. A key to Port Colborne's success over the past years has been affordability of land and other costs that businesses face. One of the things from a business standpoint is Ontario has essentially the lowest corporate taxes. The local government is very responsive to industry. The city of Port Coburn, we believe, understands the importance of supporting current industry, uh, bringing on new businesses. We chose Port Coburn because of the ease of dealing with the city of Port Coburn, and we also found the price of the property and the taxes reasonable here. A lot of the future is already here, and I think that's one of the keys. Affordability, accessibility. But don't forget about the most important part of our lives, the quality of life, family, lifestyle. When the business day comes to an end, that's when the city of Port Colborne truly stands out. Port Colborne really is, is uh, the community with the heart. Port Colborne has a great lifestyle, a great business community. The wide open spaces, the uh, affordable housing. The emphasis really is on the quality of living, a true balance between lifestyle and business. The city of Port Colborne and Niagara region as a whole offer a lifestyle second to none. It's all here. When, when we look at uh, Niagara Falls, we look at the wineries, we look at St. Catharines, Port Colborne, the beaches, the canal, the events, the festivals, the marinas. You're minutes away from, from water, regardless of where you are in Niagara. There are so many activities to do in the Port Colborne area. Golf is truly one of my favorites. A perfect afternoon can be spent cycling along the Welland Canal. Watch the kids play soccer, baseball, hockey. Uh, there's great fishing here in the lake. There are beaches, there's gardens, and uh, I mean, that's, that's, that's our hobby. I want to also emphasize quality of living because here we have the lake on both sides so I can go to wine country in a half an hour, I can go to a cottage in a half an hour. From Port Colborne's Canal Days to Niagara's Grape and Wine Festival, you will always find community spirit and family events that make Port Colborne and surrounding areas truly one of a kind. Kind of a laid back, uh, slower lifestyle than the big cities and it's a great place for family. 
it really is a joy to, to be able to live in, in, a, in an area this nice. Carbohydrate Valley in Port Colborne, Ontario. It is truly where business and lifestyle are a perfect match. Its resources, commitment, opportunity, as well as community. Very importantly, a community that understands Carbohydrate Valley and understands their role and want it to happen here. As I look to the future, I look to existing companies. If you have happy existing companies, that's the best answer as to why I should be here. Archer Daniels Midland has a purpose to serve the vital needs, to take the harvest from the home, and we do that every day. Because there's no place better to raise a family, uh, friends, and, and, and just things to do on the off time. There's always something to do, it's a lot of fun. And I'll tell you, if, 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 if anybody's uh, second guessing, just simply come on down here and take a look, spend a week down here, give me a call, I'll show you around, and you'll find out that here in Niagara, we're second to none in, uh, in our foreign country of Canada. Carbohydrate Valley, all the right ingredients.